tonight for supper I am making some roasted potatoes to go with our chicken. As you can see I have about seven or eight small potatoes cut up here and I went ahead and peeled them. This is a great peeler. If you can ever get one like that, if it's really well in your hand, has this little doohickey on the end so you can get the eyes out of the potatoes, great peeler. Then I cut them with this, which I found at a flea market. This gives nice deep ridges in the potatoes. I love this and this is really good to put um, cut carrots as well. I have one spoonful of oil on here, just, you know, soup spoon. And to this I'm going to add garlic powder, Italian seasoning, if you don't have Italian seasoning, you can easily make it with one part basil, one part paprika, and one two parts of oregano. Paprika. Did I say paprika? One part basil, one part parsley, two parts oregano. But now I'm adding the paprika. I had paprika on the mind. I don't use salt in my cooking hardly, hardly ever, because I prefer the taste of the spices and one of us in the household well both of us really need to watch our blood pressure so you really don't need salt because Th this this is just such a good mix so there you have the potatoes mixed up and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to bring you over to the stove just put them on a cookie sheet and spread them out now I did these potatoes for the first time the other day. They were so good, that's why I'm doing them again. And I put the oven at 375, and I found out it took mm, a little over 45 minutes. I like them to cook slow to make sure the inside is nice and soft, and the outside is crispy. You could probably last 10 minutes if you wanted a really, really crispy outside put the temperature up to 400 for about 10 minutes but all these ridges that my cutter made are going to be brown and they're going to just they're going to look great the whole house is going to smell delicious and I'll show you what they're like when they're done okay here are the potatoes all done and you can see some beautiful nice dark crispiness on the edges of these I'm just going to use the spatula to get them off of the cookie sheet, but because they were coated with oil, they're not going to stick very hard. I just can't do this with one hand, but as you can see, they come up from the cookie sheet okay. This is a very simple, easy recipe. You can eat them like fries with ketchup, or I like to put a little bit of barbecue sauce on, or you could just you know, smash them a little bit and put some butter on top. It's a very versatile dish looks beautiful, smells great, tastes delicious. Give it a try. God bless you.